Hey everybody, it's Darcy. I hope you're having a great day. So, uh, today we're going to do a lino block press. Then we're going to add some ink to it. And uh, I got a really fancy schmancy frame um, to put it in. So I'm going to do that last just to show you because there's something special about the frame you got to stick around for. Um, at this point, uh, it is, it's funny because anyone, I'm in Canada, and if anyone out there thinks it's always cold in Canada, right now, on July 3rd, it's 99 degrees out. It is so stinking hot. But anyway, I hope you're staying cool and everything's great. Let's get going on the video. Okay, so here we go. This is just, uh, it's called Battleship Linoleum. And linoleum is made up of compressed cork and linseed oil. It's been around forever. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of applications for it, but mostly you and I, I think, know it for flooring. Um, this is an art linoleum as opposed to just a piece of flooring, but I have used flooring pieces in my uh, university courses that they provided for us. Um, I use five different blades, and then I go over it with a marker. This ink, it's Caligo ink. And uh, the neat thing about it is it's safe for the environment. It's super thick. It's uh, twice as, three times as thick as peanut butter. So rolling it out, this took quite a long time. I sped it up so you wouldn't get too bored. Would be a great a ASMR video because of the sound it makes. Now at this point, I'm covering the, uh, the block print just to do a test pattern in my sketchbook. You always want to do a test pattern just to make sure that all the carvings are correct because sometimes you can't tell until after the fact and you can always go back and carve out more. So I just put a quick test print in and there it is there. Um, rub it down with a brayer or in this case I used a spoon because it was easier. And then let's just see what it looks like here. Ta-da! Yeah, that looks pretty good. I did... Um, sharpen up a couple images there though okay so i mentioned earlier at the intro that there's something special about this frame and it's kind of funny because i'm actually going to do a uh, video in the future about where to pick up good frames and good canvases for the cheap now the funny thing about this frame when i saw it in a thrift store i thought there was something kind of odd about it now, unfortunately, I can't tell you I, I found a copy of the Declaration of Independence shoved in it or anything valuable, but um, it, was an ex it was a print and it was an exceptionally well-framed piece. So I bought it for $4 and when I got home, I looked it up, I took it apart. It turns out there was a 2009 print in it. It wasn't even a limited edition. You can actually still get it on the internet today. But the funny thing was, you can buy it today, I remember I got it for $4, you can buy it for $225 US dollars. So I scored with a really good high quality frame for this. Anyway, let's finish the video, I'm going to add some ink to it and uh, we're going to kind of go from there. Take care. So if you're unfamiliar with the game, Basically, um, you create your own army. They're resin models. There's sort of a three-part process behind uh, the game itself. It's the uh, collecting the army. You build them and paint them. That's another part. And then uh, the other thing, too, is then you can play it like a strategy game. It's been around since, I think, 1982, 1983. But one of the things I'm doing today is there's in this game they're called uh, space marines now the space marines come in different they call them chapters basically different groups and they all have different sort of symbols and ideologies and stuff like that and they're also different colors so in this case i've got the blood angels first the ultramarines second here's the iron hands now they're black now the one thing you'll notice is for the eye lens see in the blue ultramarine there i'm actually putting the opposite color so the opposite of blue is orange in that eye socket there, the large circular one. And uh, that way it makes them pop out a little bit, little bit more. That's just simple color theory. Now with the gray knights, they're a little bit different. There's not an opposite of gray. Um, so I just put it in nice and purple there like that. It's kind of a fuchsia. With the green, similar to the uh, blood angels where where there was a red armor i used a green eye socket and in this one with green armor i do a red eye socket to help it pop out a little bit more and then the final one 
that's just the white scars and they're all white armor so there it is there um, if you like videos like this please like and subscribe you can see on that video there the pop can uh, use that as a reference this is a really big project it was lots of fun thanks very much and hope you have a great day